and lift off. Everything is okay. Everything is normal. Okay, hi all. It's Christmas, and uh, this is uh, when uh, the JWST uh, space telescope is being uh, about to be launched. Seven minutes to prop to plan the lift off, or let's say the opening of the window. Uh, I don't know. NASA and ESA have really chosen a perfect day, <laughs> so it's Christmas, and in Europe is uh, also lunchtime. So I mean, uh, <laughs> okay, we want to have you know, uh, I don't know how many years uh, of since the last Apollo mission and blah blah, and also Christmas. So it's gonna have uh, be a nice uh, Christmas present. But guys, lunchtime. Anyway. Launch time, lunch time, it does, they don't fit, okay? We have things to do, families and so on. All astronomers are waiting for this. All the families are all ruined now because we are just watching the thing instead of having lunch with everybody. So uh, anyway, uh, just a couple of uh, small things. Uh, this is Ariane 5. It's a huge rocket, almost um, 50 meters tall. It's still nothing compared to the Saturn V that uh, brought the man to the moon. It's like uh, one third of it uh, and uh, one fourth or one fifth of the power and thrust and so on. But uh, uh, it's a huge machine. It's the biggest now. Don't say to Elon Musk. And uh, it, the first stage will burn uh, 240 tons of solid propellant in something like uh, two minutes. Uh, then there is a second uh, cryogenic state stage uh, that will burn in, uh, for 140 seconds, more or less uh, something like 107 tons. Uh, and then uh, we will have uh, what you see now is a fairing that is uh, 5 meters, 0.4 in diameter. It's hosting the JWST. It needs to be folded because otherwise it won't fit. It's... Uh, its primary mirror is 6.5 meters uh, in diameter and this is going to open a new complete era for astronomy. We are super excited. The focal ratio is 20, uh, f20, so this means that is something like the focal length is something like 130 meters. The field of view is going to be very small, but it's going to discover every possible thing we don't even imagine. Uh, it's going to observe between 0.6 and 28 microns, which means uh, near infrared and uh, mid infrared wavelengths, plus some optical between 0.6 and 1 micron, let's say. And uh, in the end, the spacecraft will be something like um, 20 meter times 14 meters. So a huge thing in space uh, with this uh, uh, solar shield. Uh, sun shield uh, that is going to be uh, unfolded at some point uh, later during the mission the total telescope the total weight of the telescope and launch is something like uh, six uh, uh, tons uh, it's an unbelievable uh, thing i hope uh, to see this uh, uh, happening and uh, uh, i mean i can't wait for this well, I'm gonna um, now enjoy the lunch uh, during launch and the launch during lunch. And uh, we can switch on again uh, the audio from uh, the French Guiana directly. I will keep it also my audio and then, uh, uh, well, we have fun. Eh? Well, you see the weather actually is not good in Guyana. It was supposed to be launched yesterday at this same time, but uh, weather forecasts uh, uh, pushed the launch uh, to today. T minus 30 seconds and counting. Counting! My God. Standing by for terminal. Ulala! This is astronomer training that has been well. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top. And we have engine start. And lift off. 
Decollage liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Punching a hole through the clouds, 20 seconds into the flight, good pitch program reported. Vehicle performance is nominal. The Ariane 5 rocket continues uh, to fly uphill in nominal fashion. The rumble of the powerful Ariane 5 now being felt here in the control center. 3D animation. This is a simulation, obviously. The two minutes, 240 tons. Coming up on the two minute mark into the flight. Everything is okay. Everything is normal. Two minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. That's like a booster. When the computer detects this threshold, it will Oof. separate. Separation des EAP. In excellent fashion, and coming up on the 12 minute mark into the flight, uh, the telescope controllers uh, will be taken. I was about to cry. I was crying, in fact, earlier. It's crazy. I was just, uh, and we're standing by for I upper stage shutdown. coming out uh, uh, the, the cut off of the uh, upper stage uh, possibility to, to keep them inside. So sorry for that. Uh, it's a really, you know, future of everything we are. I studied for. When I started studying, they were already thinking about this, talking about this. It was called NGST. As expected. Next generation space telescope, then turn exactly. into uh, JWST. Uh, it's about to abandon the last stage of the rocket. Well, this is a. Uh, yeah, I, I would say. Ah, there we go. Detached. I would say you could guys have just put a webcam there, right? I mean, web space it's a 10 billion telescope. <laughs> We do have confirmation of observatory separation. The James Webb Space Telescope amidst applause here in the Mission Control Center, now taking its first steps in pursuit of cosmological discovery. It was a perfect ride to orbit. And all of the uh, separation oh, there is a are running in good fashion according Woo! to the telescope controllers. <laughs> there is a and there is the view uh, from the upper stage camera oh on the Ariane 5 looking at the James Webb oh Space Telescope God. as it moves uh, gently away from its launch field. Go away, go away. Yes, go away. Ironically enough, as we marvel on uh, this view from the upper stage camera, this will be humanity's last view of the James Webb t Space Telescope as it moves to its work place about a million miles away from us. webcam, guys. I mean, it's the ABC. You put that webcam everywhere, also on uh, cars flying Now we'll be hearing uh, shortly Mars. from the mission operations manager of the WC. Space Telescope Science yeah. Institute. Uh, Carl Starr, who will that, be uh, calling out uh, the procedures the GPL, that will lead the uh, to the deployment of Webb's solar array. Uh, it's, um, it's, oh, ah, the solar array is deployment. Let's see if we see that. It's around 30 minutes after launch, so it should be now, more or less. There we go. Look, 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 look. And down uh, in the fishbowl uh, where there is jubilation, let's go to Raphael uh, Chevrier of Ariane Spas. And before we do that, uh, Raphael, uh, uh, a bit earlier than planned, but there is the solar array having been deployed. James Webb now uh, has its array out. 
as we stand by for confirmation that it is power positive. <laughs> well, uh... Hey, Rob. J'entends pas ce qu'il me dit. Il m'a appelé ou pas Il m'a appelé ou pas I have tears in my eyes, guys. I cannot believe it. And there it is. There's your critical call. James Webb not only has legs, but it has power as it uh, begins uh, its journey and the commissioning activities to follow. <laughs> and with that, let's go down to the floor uh, in the fishbowl and uh, Raphael Chevrier of Ariane Spas. <laughs> Okay. This is it. We have Merry Christmas. And the I can't. I cannot. Do, I can't safely anymore. Safely delivered away into space. The upper stage is now being oh. placed on a safe um, oh. escape orbit around the sun. But honestly, I've got to tell you that I look forward to see the first light and, and then the first distant well, galaxies the the of observed with JWST. Even if you didn't accept my proposal, never mind. <laughs> Maybe the next call, accept my proposal, guys. To describe the emotion that uh, is happening right now in the fishbowl, so 